All right, everybody, welcome back to Mustangs by Matt. Today, you join me in an unfamiliar location uh, to most of my audience, but in a previous video, we tested the 10 terabyte Seagate Iron Wolf Pro hard drive to see just how sturdy it is. Uh, and it, it performed extremely well. You can watch that video here. But today, we have with us three of the 16 terabyte Seagate Iron Wolf Pro NAS drives uh, that Seagate sent over for me to uh, <clears throat> test. So, why do I want to do this? Well, a couple of reasons. One, people treat hard drives like they are, you know, a, a, an, uh, an angel given thing that needs to be handled with care and protected. And for the most part, that's true, but these things are incredibly durable and sturdy. Recording a lot of video and we record a lot of video it does take up a lot of storage space so these things are really really tough and I see a lot of is a hard drive bulletproof videos on YouTube uh, I've seen five or six ones and I'll put some of the ones uh, over the screen right now so you can see what I'm talking about but they all just grab a random hard drive and go is this bulletproof well no you have to think about what you're doing uh, this is a 16 terabyte hard drive it is going to do substantially better than a 250 gigabyte hard drive or a one terabyte hard drive those things are oh they're, they're good but they're just not made the same standard as this is they have made these the serviceability of these, at least from an external standpoint, very, very easy. Uh, this circuit board right here that holds the, the logic for where everything is on the hard drive is removable. It's You got these five screws here, and then there's pads underneath that connect the contacts. Three pin contact over here, and there's like an eight or twelve contact pin over here. I want to see how sturdy it is. So, with that in mind, I have my old trusty rusty Glock 19 nine millimeter. The 10 terabyte hard drive held four or five of the nine millimeters, and then finally broke. When we, when we hit it with two 45 ACP bullets. So, with that in mind, and I'm thinking that this is going to be a little bit tougher, I went out and got a special treat for this hard drive. I want to thank the folks over at Seagate for sending these over to me. Um, I didn't really want to spend four or five hundred dollars on hard drives just to shoot them with bullets. Um, so they sent these over. They are dead drives, um, as far as they're concerned. They have some kind of some some light damage right here that means they can't be sold as a as a new product. Um, <clears throat> but they also didn't want to send me working hard drives so the, the motors still spin um, but you just can't access anything on it they, they've, they've shut that off so we're gonna go out there we're gonna set up and we're gonna see just how much abuse this thing can take all right so safety first eye protection hearing protection I'm shooting in a safe direction uh, and I do have the authorization to shoot in my backyard. So 
We are going to load up. Boy, that, uh, that's not good, is it? <laughs> wow, okay, well. Okay, well. That's slightly disappointing, Seagate. Alright, so we're going to start another hard drive, and uh, I didn't buy this for nothing, so we're going to use it. This is the Springfield XDM 10 millimeter. Uh, this has somewhere along the lines of two to four times the muzzle energy that the Glock 19 has. Oh, wow. <laughs> well, well, I have to say that I am uh, thoroughly disappointed in Seagate. I, uh, I don't know what to say here. Uh, all right enough with kind of the silly shooting the hard drive test uh, we've got one last hard drive and I want to see just what kind of abuse it can take in a normal circumstance so right now it's powered off obviously uh, and it hasn't been running at all today so I've got a thermal take kind of disc cloner back there uh, and I'm just interested to see if the drive spins once we're done with all this. So without further ado, we're going to drop it from about four and a half feet onto this. Dinged up, a little dinged. Right there. Right there, but not too bad. Well, that's that. It really didn't take any force at all for the, the electronics inside this hard drive to fail. Uh, that's really not surprising considering how easily the case fell apart and how thin the platters in this thing are. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. Uh, don't drop your hard drive. I don't know. Probably okay to get jostled in shipping and stuff like that, but 
You know, if you drop it on concrete, you're probably going to be buying a new hard drive. Let's go inside and uh, we'll talk about what happened here today. All right, so let's examine some of the things that happened here today. Um, we had a new larger capacity hard drive. We had the very same gun with the very same bullets that we used in the 10 terabyte hard drive video. That hard drive was leaps and bounds stronger than this one. It was the same family of drive uh, and I don't know. I don't know. I, I sent an email to my contact at Seagate expressing my concern and my disappointment for the performance of these drives. Um, I realize that anyone actually shooting a gun at a hard drive isn't interested in whether or not it survives the encounter, but it does speak to the sturdiness and the dependability of the drive itself. And the 10 terabyte hard drive is much, much stronger, much more robust than these. If you look at Seagate's website and their claims for this drive, sitting here like this, unpowered, it can handle, according to them, 200 G's of force. The quality of the casing material and the poor performance today leads me to believe that I don't really see how it can handle that kind of force. Um, the 9mm bullet that I used had a muzzle energy of something like two or three hundred foot-pounds and the 10 millimeter had about 800 foot-pounds. I didn't expect the hard drive to survive the 10 millimeter, but I expected it to do much better with the 9 millimeter as its 10 terabyte brother did with the 9 millimeter. I know that the casing for the 16 terabyte is different from the 10 terabyte. You can look at the back of them and tell. Um, but these shattered like glass. It was it one bullet. And it also speaks to the integrity of the platters inside. So this has the same number of platters that the 10 terabyte drive did. But for whatever reason, and I can't really figure out, these platters are much, much thinner than the 10 terabyte one. Maybe that's how they were able to, uh, to squeeze an extra 20% out of the platters. Total capacity was to make it thinner. I don't know. But if there's any, is it bulletproof questions you have on other hard drives, feel free to send me them. I'd love to go out in the backyard and fire some more rounds. Uh, that's all for now. Be safe, have fun, and God bless America. This is me talking to the camera so that you can see my face while you adjust the light. <laughs>